good morning it's meg's and i thought i would um vlog this weekend because it's friday today i'm only working half a day i actually start working 15 minutes so what am i doing i don't know oh, but um i'm getting my hair cut today it's actually quite long now i'll show you it later before i go but i'm like getting a bob like a proper bob mum bob you could say so i'm excited i'm excited to like have a fresh start. I'm also getting my eyelashes done today, so it's a bit of a glow up, a bit of a pamper. And also I'm going to see a show at the theatre tonight, our local theatre. But I also thought maybe I could like go around TK Maxx because they've got quite a few autumnal bits in. And I'm intrigued to see what they've got. And also I'll show you a few bits that's going on with the house because the nursery's being done and it's got quite a bit of progress now. And also I've been adding some Megsy touches to the house to make it feel a little bit more like home. So I thought it'd be good to fill you in and show you what we've been up to. Look, I told you, it's autumn now, pretty much. I love it when you come down and it's like grey outside and wet and it's just like so cosy. I love it. I'm here for it. August who? I'm ready for September, October, November, December, January, the whole winter. We're also doing the bathroom. We've got rid of the ugly carpet and these are the tiles that we're going for. So Louis and his stepdad are doing that today. So I've just got in the car. You can hear how heavy the rain is on the windows. I love it. It just makes it feel so cosy. But I have to say, like, I was struggling to vibe to my house for quite a bit. Don't know why. I think it's just the pregnancy change. Like, I struggle with change anyway and all the changes are happening. So it's just a lot. But grateful, obviously. But now I'm titivating around in it and kind of pottering. I've got more time to do stuff because I've less, less than my hours at work. So I'm like pottering around, cleaning, titivating, adding girly things that I like. I'm loving it. And I think the weather's helping as well because as gorgeous as the house is in the summer, it's like, I don't know. Like it, the garden's great for summer and it is quite open and airy, but it's quite a dark house, like dark wood. And it's quite like oldy worldy. And I think that the rain and the cold and the grey days, it just makes me feel cosy like I prefer the house in the winter. Also, I wanted to do a close up of my eyelashes um, so you can see the before and after because I won't film again now until I've had them done. So I've just finished at work, it's half on, 25 to 2, my appointment's at 2 in town. Um, so I'm just going to head over there now. I'm dying for a Greg sausage roll, but for the meantime, I've just got some beef hula hoops just constantly snacking on the go I'm starving but um yeah I don't know what uh, I'm trying to think out loud I'm like don't know what I want for tea because me and my friend from work are going to see a show tonight like I said but I don't want to be like too heavy on my tummy for sitting in the theatre do you know what I mean I keep saying theatre like it's posh it's not if you're local and you're watching this you know but um yeah but I just need something to keep me going so I'm going to get a Greg's definitely after the hairdressers and go and have a browser on TK Maxx like I said. But here's the eyelashes after. Oh yeah. So I got um, hybrids instead of just classics which I was getting because I wanted them a bit fuller so they feel much better now. So I'll get to town and then I'll take my bubble out and show you the before and after of my hair. Because again I can't film in the hairdressers because I get too embarrassed, too shy can't do it but she's gonna wash it and make it all nice for me as well so I'm so excited about that so I've just arrived in town and I've got 15 minutes till my appointment like this is crazy because I'm late all the time all the time it's like really rare that I'm not in a rush to get somewhere so I thought I'd take my hair out and show you what it looks like it's like quite long now it probably doesn't even look long you know but like it's quite long for me and you can see it's not really a style anymore so I don't know how short I'm gonna go but I'm just absolutely pooped myself someone just beeped at me to get me attention like how'd you pay you yeah I was like oh hello <laughs> hello there but um yeah so it needs a cut it needs a good trim uh not even a trim you know like here are we gonna go this shot? I don't know. I had some ideas, but I don't I'm just gonna let her do it. Just crack on Poppy. Poppy likes a good go with the scissors, so we'll just see what she comes up with. It's done. It's done. I'm on the short side. I don't I feel like I can't like why is this camera so dark? I don't know if there's some way you can change the brightness, but I'm on the short hair life. I love it. I'm feeling it, I'm vibes in. 
And look where I am. Can you see? TK Maxx. I just went to um, Greg's as well and got a vegan sausage roll, inhaled it. Um, to the point where I wish I got tea because I'm starving. I'm actually starving. Got a tea as well. So, and I also got a new top from New Look and a new hair clip because I thought I'm not going to be able to put my hair in a ponytail anymore. So maybe I'll be able to clip it up. Um, just thinking for work. I actually like it down. But do you know what I mean? Like work when I'm doing clients, kind of a bit like that all day. So I'm loving it. And it's made me actually want to like do my makeup for tonight because I was going to like, I thought, well, we're going to see a show, but it's in a dark hall. So it's like, no one will see me like don't need to see my makeup but now i've got new hair i'm like yeah new vibes i'm gonna do my makeup but let's go and see what's in tk maxx have a little browse hopefully there's some autumnal bits and yeah so straight away i've seen this that i fancy 9.99 instead of 32. it's a becca foundation and i always remember seeing these in the polish um what's it called sephora that's it and I had a highlighter from there once that I loved, so I'm going to see if this looks like the right kind of colour. Camel, three in one, but I really fancy it. Absolutely loving these, but I think they've only got them in a five, which I am, but because of the pointy toe, I think I'd need a bigger size. These Kurt Geiger shoes are 19.99 and they're absolutely gorgeous. They're so chunky, five and a half, so they fit perfectly and so autumnal. I am here for it. Autumn stuff starting to come out in TK Maxx. This is cute. Happy Halloween, Matt's look. Oh my god. Crazy. Told ya, it's happening. Pumpkin trio. Mm. Cute little Halloween mugs as well. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with these. Got little pumpkins on the dog beds. How cute are they? Oh my god. We're doing something cool. So I got home <laughs> and I've done a bit of my access course. I've picked up my nursing access course again, which yeah, it's hard work and I've been having a break for a few months because I just wasn't in the right headspace. But yeah, I, I've been doing that while Louis's been on the Xbox for a bit, just chilling with Louis. It's been nice. He likes my hair. He said he loves it and I look like a little elf, which is nice. <laughs> you know, we've been watching a lot of Lord of the Rings at the moment, so I'm like, oh, I'm a little, uh, what's she called? Arwen. Arwen. Oh, a little sneaky preview. I like that for a girl's name for the future. But um, anyway, we're going to take up the carpet in the hall. Well, mainly I'm going to watch, but. Um, yeah, we'll see the tiles that are under. Why are we doing it again? Well, I need to prep all the um, floor boards on the stairs. Probably get that carpet that we want. So, mm. why not take up the hallway first? Yes, absolutely. So we're gonna have to move a few bits, aren't we? Mm. Like Lily's bloody horn. <laughs> oh, I forgot to say this is that totter and tumble play mat that we've put out ready for the baby come in and he only said his name which yeah most people know his name most people know his name already because i can't keep it quiet but yeah it's so good it's proper spongy i've been doing a bit of pregnancy yoga on there i don't know what the hell i'm doing i don't do yoga or anything like that but i've been practicing some and it was quite good to stay flexible and stuff you know so let's begin it's boring don't you <laughs> It's all about flooring for you. I know. Buy better work. <laughs> Even the lining looks retro. It must not have been touched for about 20,000 years. Old red carpet. Yuck. I hope it's going to the tip. Oh. The red carpet. Yeah. Woo! Time to 
say goodbye. I feel like I'm making a David Attenborough documentary. What does lie beneath? big reveal. I wonder what has happened to them. I think it is, oh I don't know. Cause... See if you get some tail. Cleaner. I'll get a hoob right now. Yeah, that's like it looks to be just as covered as them ones, but you can still see the pill seeping through. I'm hoping that it just, just does need a clean, but I'm not feeling promising. No. Like you can see the colours underneath them ones as well, but it's like thick on top. It's not like. I had to stop hoovering over there because it was sounding weird. Oh, why? In that corner. Oh, that's alright. I looked, I looked to this out and jumped the finger around and that. So I'm ready now. I've got to pick my friend up in like half an hour. But I don't know. I feel funny with my new hair. You know when you like, like something but you're like, this is weird. It's weird. It's short. Ooh, it's so short. But I like it. But I've got that new top on from New Look. So it's just like smock top like literally a t-shirt but you know what it's like if you've been pregnant you just buy what fits i bought it in a 14 i'm normally an eight on the top but my bump is that large that i just thought i'd get a 14 because obviously all my jeans now are like the under the bump but well these ones have got the stretchy thing that's like a pouch but yeah they're under so i need a top that's like long enough to cover that bump and then there's some towels on the floor, you best ignore that. Uh, let's just put the light on. So, t shirt, I've got this little Topshop blazer on. I think I, that was in a 12 anyway, so it'd be oversized. River Island, mom jeans. Uh, no, they're not even mom jeans, literally, it's because I'm a mom. <laughs> uh, maternity jeans, and then these little shoes from Next. Also, this is the new book we got from Aldi. Aldi! How cute is it? I just love it, I think it's really nice. So yeah, that's uh, everything. I don't even think I'll film till after the theatre now, but we're gonna, I think me and Louie are gonna get a Chinese tonight, so we'll be able to have a Chinese, eat it in bed, watch Love Island, and just have a great night, really, overall. So I'm excited. Good morning, so it's the next day, and look at me, I'm still feeling my hair. I went to like put it up in the middle of the night because I got up for a wee. And you know when you're like, oh, my hair's in the way, Put your hair up. There was no hair to put up, so I was like, "What the hell?" But I quite like it. Like, just put up at the back. I'll oh, see yeah, if you can see it in the in the mirror. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go down and show you because Louis was just Louis hates being filmed and stuff. But he was like, "Babe, why don't you film me um, scraping this tile?" Because we we've, we've taken the carpet off like you saw yesterday, and I got this tile degrimer, and um, yeah. He said it's coming up pretty well, so we'll go and see it. Also, the Chinese last night was class, it was amazing. Look at this new candle I got from TK Maxx. Isn't it incredible? Button up pumpkin. I literally just took the lid off and it smells amazing. I can smell it already without even lighting it. Let's get it on. Get a touch of autumn in this house. Saying that as if I'm late to the party, it's literally August still. Oh, I told them that you wanted to show me something. <laughs> I'm showing you that um, the, the colour of the tile is under all this red, so you can actually see the black coming up. Oh yeah, you actually can. And see that yellow one. 
you want me to do it for a bit? Well, you help us. <laughs> you reckon you'll get a... Uh, I wasn't going to scrape uh, all the red off. What I was going to do is scrape these bits of paint off. See them little splodges? Oh yeah. Just like that. Yeah. Because a clean solution won't get the, the paint up. I can do that then. Yeah, just keep the trowel flat as you can. Just like hand over it. Just so you're not like scratching into the tail. Oh, yeah, yeah. But you should be all right. Like... Literally like you're scooping up a slice of pizza. <laughs> Good. <laughs> but yeah. So it will come up. Cap of the day. Cap Give of us the a day. little rundown. It's my boating cap. Looks cute, doesn't it? Yeah, you yeah. Don't get shy now. Thank you. I do the work about the presenting. Oh my god. He's got to be joking, I do all the work in this album. <laughs> you are joking. Who's the one that's got the spatula? Me. There was a few other things I wanted to show as well. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I've shown, I don't, don't even know if I've vlogged since I did it last time, but I bought this chair um, from an antique shop in Bournemouth. I can't remember what they're called, where it's like a, like a vintage round chair. <laughs> Maybe that is what it's called, but look at the material, it's gorgeous and it goes with the hall so well. And then we've got this little terrarium up here which was given to us when we moved in. And this picture I absolutely love. And then Libby is not impressed with this because he doesn't like little quotes and stuff going on in the house, but I like it. And I think it goes nicely. So I'm happy with this little area. Um, we just need to crack on with this floor. Also as well, my friend was meant to come around for um, a brew today but it just feels like the house is not in order and also we're using the outside toilet at the moment because obviously I have not shown you the bathroom but the bathroom toilet and sink is unscrewed and out of the bathroom so they can tile the floor. So I don't really want to invite a friend around and be like, eh, yeah you can come but you can only go for a wee outside. Like it's a proper toilet and that but it's not like nice, do you know what I mean? But um, I wanted to show you this. So. I'll put it down on the play mat. Oh, because we'll be getting all the vibes. But we've been picking up a few, well, Dad's been dropping off a few of our baby stuff because he's been keeping it at his house. Um, that's Layla with a bone, she loves it. It makes a lot of noise. Let's chuck it. Layla, go and catch it. She'll bring it right back and do it in the frame of that. But anyway, yeah, so we're getting a few of the bigger bits at home so they can free up the front room for a little bit. But we're not getting the pram and everything home yet because obviously it's bad luck but we've got the car seat so and i've just got it in the car like normally i just keep it in that corner but i just wanted to get it out to show you so it's a silver cross one um it's part of the set i can't remember what the pram's actually called but i'll show you when it arrives um in the house later on and it's like got a brown handle and everything on the actual pram but it's just so lovely it's like gray not tweedy but like that kind of material and then I got this from Mamas and Papas. It's called an Activity Spiral. And it said it's it's suitable from birth, so that's good. But it's just got these well cute little animal faces on. And then these little activity things. So there's like a little mirror, obviously, because, um, well, I don't know, do, ba do babies like mirrors? I was going to just say they like mirrors, but but they make sounds. And I don't know if that's safe for like, I feel, it feels like a teething thing, so obviously I'll need to sterilise that because I've had my mitts on it. But um, yeah, they all make different sounds and stuff and I just thought that was the cutest thing. And it is suitable from birth as well, so that's really good. It's looking like a proper mom house, I love it, like the little play mat and then this. So I'm going to go and put something more suitable on for crawling around on the floor to get out the paint spots. And then, yeah. Hopefully I can get a little clip in the bathroom to show you, but I don't want to be like filming in the way and stuff, but to show you. And I can show you the nursery progress as well.
quick sneak preview. This is the bathroom, the toilet's normally over there, the sink's there. This is the underneath of the tiles, like backing board or something, and these are the tiles we're going for. So, really excited for them. Hope I don't break one. So they'll look like that all the way across. Nice serge green. Put in the mirror rope in the bedroom. Spin it around because the mounts are. Not sure if you want it, you want to do it. Landscape, but portrait probably looks better. Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, yeah, look at that. Too close to the edges, landscape, isn't it? That's yeah. perfect there, like that, isn't it? So it's been a few hours since I last vlogged now. Look at me, I can't stop touching my eggs, I can't get used to it. But, um, yeah. Dad's been and gone. We sat and had a brief for a little bit, but look at this area. It's looking exactly how I wanted it to now. Um, oh my God, that side profile is something else in it. Look at it. It's moved up though, you know. Like, I don't know if you can tell. He was. I felt like he was sitting quite low for a while, um, but now he's like really high, which is crazy. But um, yeah, I've added a few extra bits that I want to put in that area because I think it'll look really nice. So the first thing is this pampas grass. I think I bought this from BMs, you know, but it was when we were in our old house. So I'm thinking that in one corner, this in the other. This was from Aldi the other day. It's just like a little candle holder. This was twelve ninety nine, I think. Woven lantern. It doesn't say. But, and then obviously we've got this rug that's quite boho -y. And then we've got that grass section in there. So it's all starting to tie together. So let's see. There. That is exactly how I've wanted the bedroom to look. I just love that area. It's so nice. Oh, yeah. I also thought it'd be quite fun to show me trying this out. So I got that free ride thing that I was talking about. Um, I've taken my cardio so I can put it on properly. But I just tried it out once before when it came. I think I got the hang of it all right. I'm going to see if I can remember how to do it without the instructions. Um, but it's going to be so much easier to carry Bobby around and do stuff in the house with this free rider thing on. So, right, so it just literally looks like a big scarf. So I remember you put it around the front. Let's see. Obviously going to be much easier without a bump. Because I think it goes more like round your waist, kind of. Like, I don't know. But we'll just try it and then put that across your back like crossed over and then this one comes oh no hang on i've got it i've got it i'm sure i've got it right so that one's over that shoulder meanwhile that one's crossed over that shoulder so it should be looking like a little crisscross at the back but less twisted but we can go with it for now and then Cross it over again, and that one in there, I think this is going right, it feels pretty secure though, as long as they'll open up I think, and then we're going to go around the back again for extra support or you know tightness, make sure it's safe and then knot it at the front, I think that's right. And then obviously they open up. So, Teddy, for argument's sake, see if we've got it right. Baby will slot in there, other leg through there. Oops. And oh, it's uh, the baby's heartbeat bear, that's what you could hear then. And I guess that bit goes around there. And I have seen them where, I think the legs stick out either side there. It's a bit of extra support too, I think. And then you can put them so the head's like safe in there, I think. I think that's right. I'm not, maybe that one around as well, so it's like extra support. Maybe this is why it's uh, advised to be lower down, but I think that looks all right, you know. Like little baby in there. And it's quite secure. And then obviously you could just put a jacket on and crack on with your jobs. I wonder if you could put it on with a cardi. Let's see. See how it looks. There. 
So, like I say, it does feel a little bit high, but um, I think that's because of the bump, because it's sitting on top of the bump at the moment, but obviously I could do it lower down in future when I don't have a bump, so that it'll be sat a bit more comfortably, but I think that's all right, you know. It's not bad for a first try, is it? Well, second. Let's see how it look. Look, ignore all the rubbish on the floor. Yeah. I think that's quite cute, you know little update i'm still with the teddy but i was just like scrolling through the free rider instagram and it looks like i almost had it right because the crisscrosses were right and were supporting the baby but i just needed to pull that bit up because i'd left that down but that's just an extra bit of support so yeah i'm pretty impressed you know and obviously this teddy is not the shape or size of a baby so i think we've done pretty well but yeah it looks good i'm so glad i bought it literally like i say 20 pound off someone local and it's like brand new barely used well brand new barely used you know what i mean like she used it once or twice and the baby didn't quite get on with it i don't think and yeah they're like still 55 pound on that and so it's brilliant dead chuffed so the headband's in, you know what that means, it's tanning time. I'm going to tan because I'm going to do the express one so that I can go around to mum and dad's in a few hours, probably like five hours, I, although you can wash it off in an hour and then just have a shower because obviously our shower is out of bounds at the moment so I think it'll tie in nicely if I do it this afternoon and then it's done for the weekend, I feel better when I'm tanned and um, yeah, so then can wash it off tonight but the tans i'm using at the moment are the freshly baked london ones look like this this is the express one hour one but like i say i like to leave it on for like a good few hours because i like a deeper darker color um but that one's the birthday cake one and then i've also been using this other one but um this one isn't a rapid one i don't think no it's not you sleep in that one so it's not ideal um watermelon but honestly the freshly baked tans are absolutely incredible. They smell nice. This isn't sponsored, obviously. We don't even know who I am. But they smell nice and the colour is just perfection. So, yeah, I'm going to tan. So next time you see me, oh, I'll be all tanned up. So I'll have to talk loud over the kettle boiling, but Mum and Anna have just gone there. We came for a brew this afternoon and it's actually now 5 o'clock, I think. 10 past 5. So I don't know where the day is from, but it's been nice just pottering around and stuff. I'm tanned up. Oh. It's developing nicely, I don't know if you can tell, but um, yeah, I'm so tired, but I'm going to put a loaf of bread on, we've got no bread left, but I used to do this thing all the time in the old house when I first got the bread maker, where it was like, if we run out of bread, we run out of bread, like, we've got a bread maker, so we're making bread, do you know what I mean? Not that it's hard to make bread with a bread maker, I just had to move that rug on a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'm like, I'm not going out to buy bread. There's a fully perfectly working bread maker on the side, so let's just make some. So, but I do wish we just had a loaf. I mean, it does stop you from eating so much bread, because honestly, if we had a loaf in right now, I'd just be like eating it, like, oh, I just feel like toast. But there's four hours until we have bread, so might do with something else. But yeah, let's get bread in. Decided I'm gonna try a bit more pregnancy yoga. Every time I put out a new video. Let's see.
So I'm gonna win this vlog now. I've just had a great time. I've even just had a little cry because I'm emotional and happy. But thank you for watching and I will see you next time. And I hope you enjoyed the vlog.